Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to become a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, I'm going to demonstrate creating fake bokeh inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available via my website. This is a question I received. Hi Heather. Quick Lightroom question, is it possible to blur a background? I have an image of an old 56 Ford truck, but the background is awful. Or is this something that I need to do inside of Photoshop? To some degree, you can accomplish this inside of Lightroom using the adjustment brush, but if you need to be more accurate or require more blur, then you will need to use Photoshop, and I will address that in a future video. Let's jump to the develop module by pressing D on our keyboard, and then K in order to access the adjustment brush. I'm going to begin by resetting my adjustment brush. Obviously, it has several settings that I used previously, and to do that, I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard. This changed to the word reset. Go ahead and click that, and it will reset your adjustment brush. And what we want to do is attempt to blur the background in this photo. So you have this really cool truck in this really more modern background, and there's a Ford Explorer. So <laughs> let's see what we can do to lessen the impact of the background. I'm gonna turn auto mask off for this technique. I'm gonna pull down a little bit on my exposure, significantly on my clarity, a little bit on the saturation, and a lot on the sharpness. And I'm going to press O on my keyboard so that I can see where I'm brushing. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger with my right bracket key. The blur or the feather around the edge of the brush looks good as demonstrated by the concentric circles. And I'm just gonna start brushing. And I have that overlay turned on so I can see where I'm brushing. And I went a little bit into the truck, so I'm just gonna hold down Alt or Option in order to access the erase key. And I can erase that. Let me turn up the size, not that much. And the feather of the erase. And just subtract out some of the truck there. I didn't, I didn't intend to select it. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and press O to remove the overlay and look at my before with my backslash key. Remember that's the key above the enter ret or return key and my after and that vignette is a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and bring that exposure up and let's look at that again before and after. And I see a little bit of a halo effect right here. So I'm gonna make my brush smaller by pressing my left bracket key and just brush in a little bit more in this area a little closer to the truck. And once I've refined that selection, I'm gonna press my before and my after key. So you can see that Lightroom does oh, an okay job at this. The reality is if you wanna make this look a little bit better, you would probably want to do this inside of Photoshop. And ultimately, my recommendation, if you really wanted to preserve the image of the truck, I would, oh, well, I'd reshoot the photograph. <laughs> I would find a better location, I'd use a better lens, better background, and I'd reshoot it. But if that were not possible, then I might consider removing the background entirely and placing it on top of another background. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.